At all ages, sudden cardiac death occurs in about 30,000 Australians every year. When we look at young people under the age of 35 years, up to four young Australians die every week from sudden cardiac death. There are now over 40 different cardiovascular conditions which are directly caused by an underlying genetic fault. Each of us have about 22,000 genes and a fault in one of those genes can lead to a life-threatening heart condition. Rigorous exercise seems to be a trigger for sudden death in some of these cardiovascular conditions. When somebody has a cardiac arrest, the critical to their survival is early CPR and early defibrillation. Every minute that goes past, the chance of survival falls by about 15%. By four minutes, there is brain damage, and by eight minutes, if there's no defibrillation, there is no chance of survival. There are really three main areas that we can focus on to try and prevent sudden death. The first key area is to actually raise awareness in the community about sudden death. People think of heart disease as an elderly, overweight person who smokes and has high blood pressure and cholesterol, but what we know is that young, apparently fit and healthy people can also die suddenly. A key aspect of raising awareness is to know your family history. If there is a family history of an underlying heart condition, then clinical evaluation of the family members is critical. The second area for prevention of sudden death involves training for CPR. I think CPR training in all Australian schools should actually be mandatory. We teach our children how to swim, we teach them how to use fire extinguishers. Why shouldn't we teach them how to save someone's life? The third key aspect of prevention of sudden death is to have freely available and increased numbers of defibrillators in our community. Without a defibrillator, the chance of survival from a cardiac arrest is zero. Sadly, public access defibrillators are not available in New South Wales public schools. Private schools in New South Wales are allowed to have defibrillators and they're in fact available in other states of Australia in the public school system, but not in New South Wales. Having mandatory CPR training and defibrillators in schools, to me, is a no-brainer. These are cheap, simple-to-use devices that everyone should have access to. I have absolutely no doubt that we need defibrillators and CPR training in every school in Australia. If you agree with this, please share this video with other people. It's only by working together that we can actually prevent sudden death.